Jason stood there on the path as Brent kept walking toward him, grinning. If Brent knew the real Jason, he would have been scared shitless. Don't fuck with me, Jason warned him. I mean it. But Brent just laughed and grabbed him by the arm, twisting it back like he'd done so many times before. Stop, you're hurting me, Jason said, but it didn't hurt that much. He just wanted Brent to think that, so he would let go. Brent laughed again, the way he always did, a fake laugh. Jason's hand slipped into his sweatshirt pocket. There it was, his trusted friend. He curled his fingers around the grip and felt a surge of power through his arm, up into his shoulder. He knew there was no turning back now. The park seemed to know it too. He could hear the breeze in the leaves and birds chirping. Brent saw the knife coming for him, but it was too late to do anything but stare. It slipped in so easily Jason thought he was stabbing air. That surprised him. He did it twice more, telling his brain to remember the feeling for later. Brent fell backward and rolled down the slope until he stopped down below. Jason knew he should go, but he couldn't help himself. He went down to Brent's body to make sure he was dead. The smell of blood in the air made him feel dizzy. He found a small stream nearby and washed the knife off and his hand too. He could see his reflection in the water, but his face looked different to him now. It'll be our secret, it seemed to say.